Hi, I'm Ben Canning, and this micro lecture is on net force. As always, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and to do your follow-up questions on Google Forms. All right, so when there are multiple forces uh, acting on an object, we can add up or cancel out all of the forces to get the overall force on an object. So for example, a book sitting on a table, we have the table pushing up on it, gravity pulling down on it, and those two are canceling out. So we would say the net or overall force is zero. So this idea of net force is the same thing as the idea of overall force. Uh, the more formal term for it is just called net force, and we'll represent it with an F and then net down here as the subscript. Now a quick little review uh, with vector addition. Remember that vectors on the same axis uh, add together. So if we have five and two and they're both going in the same direction, then the net or overall force, sorry, the net force in this case is seven newtons. That's the resultant vector. Uh, alternatively, if they were in opposite directions, the resultant vector or the result of their combination would result in a uh, net force of three newtons in this case. All right, so let's do an example. We had talked briefly about a girl pushing on a wagon before, so let's revisit that one. So a small girl pushes a wagon with a 200 newton force. The wagon weighs 150 newtons. Draw a free body diagram, then calculate the net force. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can do that on your own. All right, hopefully you paused and welcome back. Uh, so let's go through this. So first of all, we know that there is weight pulling down on this wagon. Notice we're er, focusing on the forces on the wagon, not on anything else. We also know that since the wagon isn't sinking into the ground or it's not rising up like on an elevator, that the normal force or force from the surface of the ground is going to be equal and uh, to our weight and cancel it out. Last but not least, we know the little girl is pushing on the wagon, so there's 200 newtons of force going to the left from her push. So if we were then to go ahead and look at what the net force is, or calculate the net force, we would first focus on these two, the normal force and weight. We would notice that those two would cancel out because they're in opposite directions, so 150 minus 150 just gives us zero. And then that leaves us with just one force to the left, which means that our net or overall force in this case is 200 newtons. Now when we draw a net force, we don't draw it on our original diagram. The reason why is because uh, it would confuse us a little bit. We might think it's an additional force on, acting on our wagon, but it's not. It's just what's left over after we've added up and canceled out everything. So let's give that another shot. So here's another example. A man pushes a 1,000 newton box with a force of 800 newtons, but the box is experiencing 200 newtons of friction. Draw a free body diagram and calculate the net force. Let's go ahead and pause, give it a shot. All right, welcome back. Hopefully you paused and gave it a shot. So first we have that the weight of the box is 1,000 newtons. So um, here's a little kind of hint in this sense. When we say a man pushes a 1,000 newton box, that'd be like saying they push a 50 pound box. Um, it's the weight of the box. We know that weight is pulling down with 1,000 newtons. Since the box isn't sinking or anything, we know that in this case, the normal force is going to be 1,000 newtons up. But we also know that the man's pushing on it, so force of 800 newtons for the push. Uh, and last but not least, it said there is some friction on it, so we have to add in that friction force. Okay, so now step two, let's calculate the net force. In this case, in calculating the net force, we know that these two will cancel out fully, 1,000 and 1,000. Um, and that leaves us with just focusing on these two guys. Since they're in opposite directions, again, they subtract, and the net or overall force is going to be 600 newtons. Again, notice that I've put it as a separate diagram. You don't even have to put it as a diagram if you don't want. Sometimes I just write F net equals and whatever it is, um, but I never attach it to my original free body diagram. That's it for this one. Three or more bullet points worth of notes, one to two sentence summary, and do your follow-up questions on Google Forms.